Hey guys, quick explain. As you probably know, DBD moved to UE5, which caused some problems in importing models, the 3D models. Uh, basically, we do not use the U model anymore because it's it's cracked with materials, which also causes some problems later in texturing this. We also do not use UE shader script anymore because uh, it's basically not working now. Also, because the new update of DVD from the previous models importing, we still use PSK, PSA add on and few skeletons. Of course, I'll share the, uh, the download links in the description. And you will still need uh, Blender 3.6 because uh, add ons still do not work in the newest one. Also, I want to say big thanks for this guy. Uh, basically, if not him, I would not be able to record anything right now. I would not know anything. He helped me so much. He spent really much time in my DMs helping me. So I really want to say big thanks to him. Also, I'm so sorry for my shitty mic. I can do, I cannot do anything right now at this moment with this. I hope it's not too much disturbing for you. Okay, so the new stuff uh, is basically F model. That's what we use now instead of U model. You can still use your model, but I do not recommend. And if, like later, I will explain, or maybe in the comments. Okay, but what we do here, we basically go to download now, and it's getting downloaded. So okay, we just unpack this. I know. Let's create a new folder for this. Put the F model in. Uh, expand it. And we got the app. Okay, we open this. And where it's uh, what we do, uh, do not update. I mean, like, I will not update at least for now. What we do, uh, we basically got instruction here for U model and F model, but as I said, I don't recommend U model now. Maybe in the future it's gonna be fixed, but yeah, now I recommend F model. So, what we do. Is basically do this first step, set settings. So I go to F model, settings, uh, update mode, which is there, and it has to be on QA testing. But uh, okay, we'll leave, it, we'll leave this uh, like this right now, but later I'm gonna do something with it. Then, what do we do next? Uh, I'm gonna just leave the settings now, it's all we need for now. Okay, we again need to go to settings. We have this tab here. Uh, go to general. We are in general. Set local mapping file on enabled. It's this one. I already have it enabled. And select mapping file, which is this one. You have to click here. It's gonna open your main uh, main browser, and it's it downloaded the file like. This that by daylight the 770 US map. What do we do with it? We go to the F model folder and we just drag it there. I mean, um, I I recommend having it there in the F model folder. So, what we do is go back to this, go here, set the location of this for, from his desktop, and I got F model tutorial and this, and just open. And we got this now. And now, uh, oh, also you have to use the archive directory, and you have to basically wait a second. I'll show. I have game on Steam, so I will do it on Steam. But it's probably same in Epic Games. We just have to get the game game uh, files path. Okay, so what will I do is go to library, uh, find that by daylight, right click properties. Installed files uh, and browse the first one. Left click there, Control C to copy the path. Uh, close this, close, close, and now we basically go there. Pay Control V to paste it and select the folder. I already had it, so it, nothing changed, but yeah. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry, I forgot to mention that. At this point, you also have to put the AES key. Like each game has it, but you have to put it here. You go to the directory AES, and you basically have it. And the AES key is in the DBD Discord server. 
as you could see before so yeah just like co copy this and paste it right there and it's all I'm so sorry for this and now here we have to find uh, the game that by daylight but we don't have it so what I always do is set this to beta press ok and now the latest version of F model beta is something something and you want to update we press yes like yeah 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 allow everything and we got this and again we have to go to settings send the, set this to QA testing and uh, press ok now it's gonna ask again I always do it and now in settings we should have game that by daylight game UE5 2 ok now I just press OK and basically it's all if it comes up to setting this up. So if I press load now, oh loading mode has to be all. Now if I press load, it should pop these two things and we just, it's literally the same like in uh, U model. Okay, so now uh, it comes to importing the model. So we have to go back to our desktop. Uh, Open Blender 3.6 and now if you guys have already used U model before the UE5 updates of DBD you should already have all these add-ons that are needed like PSK, fused curtains but if you didn't, if you if you are new to this you basically go to the uh, edit, preferences uh, add-ons, I have already selected add-ons and now you press install there and you just find the you just basically find the add-ons that you downloaded. Uh, hey guys, call here. These add-ons like the you know PSK and fuse curtains, it's gonna be in zip. You don't un you do not unzip this. You basically just go there. You press this install button. Uh, Blender five view should pop out, and you basically find these files and just double click and install add-on. And then you have to enable it on something like this. Yeah, and then if you have it, um, it's basically all that we can move back to the UF model. And now what do we do? We got this all all these folders, and it depends what do you want to import. I will import, I think, Lisa, uh, the churl, churl outfit, yeah. So, what do we do? We have to go to DVD rendering Discord server. You, like, take this... Um, you know this shit, I forgot the name. Just scroll up all the way up. And you have all the codes of the models basically. So it's Cheryl S20 S22. So I go to F model. I have to go to the Oh and yeah, like basically because you may not want to import only characters. So like here we got characters. It's campers, survivors, uh, killers, or slashers. Uh, you got not maps. It's not like map map, like for example, Crouchers, Pren, Asylum. It's not this. Maps, I think, are in the. It's gonna be in meshes and environment. And yeah, you got some uh, calls as well, like Asylum is this, Crouchers, Pren. But uh, you all, you got it all in the Q, FAQ, I mean, um, in this Discord server. So yeah, I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna import Cheryl, so uh, I go to F model, I go to characters, I want survivors, so it's campers, um, it's gonna be S22, so I just have to find it. Now I go to models, because firstly I wanna have models. Uh, oh, also one important thing, I'm so sorry I forgot about this, it's settings. And you have to set the output directory. It's uh, you, F model, I think, sets it uh, by itself to the F model, uh, you know, uh, to the F model folder. But if not, I like, I recommend putting this in F model folder, I will show you later why. So yeah, we can close it now. I'm gonna move back uh, to importing the model, okay. So I got these models, 
I have to expand it and then I will just basically start importing my heads. So we got heads, for now do not expand it, just left click this and go to packages, 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 how very pronounce this. And here you double left click this to see like in the 3D if it's exactly what you want. I have already imported Lisa before, so I know it's uh, zero, zero 06, like her entire outfit is zero 06. So I'm gonna left click this. And we got the Lisa there. So I'm gonna close it, and now what do you do? You right click and save model. I'm not gonna do it because I already saved it. It's in my folder, so like it's no point. That's what do you do? Yeah, you basically save it and then I will show you how to get into this file. Yeah, when you have it, you go back to folders. Uh, oh, also accessories. Because like, this is empty head, right? She's bald right now. <laughs> You're gonna have only this bald uh, model. So just go back, uh, folders, and now you expand the head. And here you have accessories. You just left click this and then go to packages. And Lisa is 006, so yeah, you got these accessories. It means hair and her cap and uh, yeah, earrings. Let's see, maybe other outfits like hair, I know, 08. You basically can see it's Charles' hat. Yeah, this outfit, we know, all know this. But yeah, then you go just back to folders, you basically do the same with the entire outfit. So now you go to legs, left click. We can even see what's there. It got some accessories, but I mostly don't do not use them. So I just left click legs, packages, and now I have to find 06 because it's yeah, it's Lisa. We got the legs. We do same. We right click and save the model. Then go back and just do same with torso. Torso 06. As you can see, it's the same one. You can even see other ones like 01. It's basics, Charles. Also, I will show the recolors later how to get them, but first I'll just import this uh, this model because I want to show you how to solve one more thing, which is not obvious. So if you all exported all of this, you just I know you can close it now. I'll just put it back. Uh, and now we are in Blender. On N you open the side menu, you press N. And you basically import model with PSK, with this add-on. It should be there, so now import. And you got to find the, the F model folder. I already saved it in here. Like, it's on my desktop, so I can find this manually right now. It's gonna be F model, yeah. Uh, and now, what do we do? Uh, you should not have this game folder. Like, ignore this. You, have, you should have the old outputs. Output is the one you care you should care about now. So just go to outputs, and now we go to the game. And you remember, always if you import the character like some mesh, anything you go to game. Okay, now you can choose some meshes like I know map parts. I know for example main house from Borgo is gonna be in meshes and environment, but I'm not doing this right now. Characters gonna be in of obviously characters and now campers and Charlie's S22. I have already imported some of you know characters, but yeah, now I care about S22, so I go in and now uh, models. And what I always like to do is set the bookmarks. So, like, I'll show you now, I'll just delete this. Uh, when you go to the fold, I mean, model folder, you press plus on here. And yeah, like I know you can go to I know documents and downloads, and then you already go to the models. And one more thing I forgot to mention is to yeah you have to go back to the F model now. And uh, basically left click models. Now go to packages, and find the main skeleton of the entire mesh because we will use the main skeleton. That's why we will need few skeletons later. The add-on. But yeah, now uh, how to find this? It should be called like the 
here I got this already imported because as, as I said I already imported this but here it should uh, it should look like this this skeleton dot uh, ref dot you are uh, you a asset I'm so sorry not menu not anything like this and we want it for Lisa because like Charles got basically outfits that look different right like different meshes like Lisa so it got different skeleton for it so yeah as I said it's 006 for Lisa so left click this uh, right click and save animation I mean uh, model I'm sorry and it will be saved in this model so just I'm just gonna import all of it what do I do is left click and double left click and as you can see it's imported so I will just do same with all other stuff. Oh, also accessories are just in the heads. Then you got accessories. This is the main head and this accessory. Yeah. Uh, I go back. Yeah, as you can see, bookmarks are useless. I mean, useful now. <laughs> useful. Because I can just go back to this and just keep importing my stuff. We got the legs. Models, torsos, and it's the entire model, baby. I got this. And now, what do I do? Because as you can see, it's really messy right now. All these skeletons are like overlapping. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, clear the parents. Oh, because one more thing it's as you can see, it's parented because I can select mesh and move it, but if I select the skeleton, it's gonna move as well. So it's parented, and we don't want it now because we will use one main skeleton for the entire like all these parts. So yeah, what do we do? We left click the mesh, mesh, not the skeleton, only mesh. Press Alt P and clear parents, and we basically do it with every single part, every single part of the body. I mean of the uh, character with every single mesh. And now what do we do? We're gonna delete all of these mini skeletons instead of the only one, the accessory one, because accessory is um, like unusual part. So I'm gonna delete this. I have to watch out not to delete the accessory parts. Yeah. How do I know if it's accessory? Because it got controllers for for hair and stuff that are not not like. In every single survivor. So yeah, I just delete this, delete this, and here we go. Only with the accessory model. I mean, skeleton. Also, if you delete it, like I did right now, you just you can just press Control Z and it goes back. So what I'm gonna do now is again press the import PSK and now go again to models. And now I'm in, gonna import this skeleton. Okay, what do I do now? Is basically left click the accessories skeleton first, and then shift uh, left click this one as well. So now, as you can see, it moves together, but it's not a one thing. To make it as one skeleton, we go to the few skeletons now and just few skeletons. Remember, you all always uh, left click the main skeleton at the end. Because it's gonna fuse this skeleton to this one main. That's what we want. If we, for example, left click the main skeleton first and then the accessory, it would fuse it to the accessory and the mesh would be broken later. Okay, what do we do now? We have this one main skeleton now. We just left click all the all the meshes with shift. So yeah, it's getting selected together. Here. And the, with shift, the last thing we're gonna select is the main skeleton. And now to parent it, we press Ctrl P. Now Ctrl, like before we were, we were pressing the Alt P to clear parent. And now we're gonna Ctrl P to set parent to. And now we put empty groups. And now we can see if it's working. So uh, left click the skeleton. I always like to go to the side view. And now we uh, press Control Tab, 
so it goes to the post mode you can press manual here like object mode edit uh, post mode but if you press control tab it's just faster so yeah now left click this uh, yeah it's like wrong bone because like, as you can see there are two bones here so sometimes it's like yeah it's just annoying sometimes so i have to press this one and press R to rotate and as you can see it's rotating yeah same like this if you press this bone if left click this bone and press R and nothing happens it means it's just the second one so just like double click it one more time but one more thing we need to do is basically texture this because like you, you have these four balls here like this one shows the x-ray this is just model and this is shaders and as you can see it's just white it has nothing on it so what i like to do is just left click this skeleton press m it it means move now put uh, click new collection and i just call it i know let's call it lisa skeleton now we got this there i can hide this so it's more space it's cleaner and i will i like to put this eye so it's getting hidden you can unhide it like anytime you basically want but i like it keep i like to keep it hidden okay and now how to do it we go to the shading panel and how to do it uh, guys i will share with you two files that you will need to download and like you will not do anything with them you will not even open them so what we do is go to file append uh, and you basically need to find these two files now i have it located there uh, it's baba dreamer uh, character shaders v5 and toolbox dbd and what do we need from them we just need to import two nodes that will need basically that will basically need to use to texture all our characters so I'll first re firstly import it from the toolbox, it's there, you double click it, then node tree, and this is like the node we need. I just double click and it's imported already. And now we just do the same with the Baba, so we go back, again I go back to the to my location of it. Huntress, uh, and now it's Baba, node tree, and here you got a lot of them. You just want you just care about Baba's hair V5 experimental. So just double click it and we already have it. So I prefer starting from texturing from bottom because it's gonna be actually easier and then we're gonna hair is gonna be actually the most uh, it's, it's actually gonna be unusual part of it. It's gonna be different than the entire body, so let's start from bottom. Uh, what do we need to do is go to this tab. It's called material material properties we got the and as you can see we got entire materials that are used in this part of body so as you can see it's like one mesh it's one mesh we can't separate legs from skirt but we got uh, the separated materials there so what do we do now we basically let's let's just take clothes for now uh, we press use notes and like two nodes like this should pop out if you don't see them you just need to scroll up and you'll probably find them and what to do now i select this one principled i press x to delete it as you can see it's deleted now it got no material on it and what i'm gonna do is press shift a search and i'm gonna search for the lazy dbd 5.15 january what do I do is take this uh, green dot, I left hold it and put it to surface. It's still black, but don't worry. Uh, put this, uh, wait, I'll expand it. So you can see linear transparency, we put it on one. I will show you later why. Okay, now how to find the textures. You basically need to open your F model folder, or at least the folder where you save the model. You go to output. Uh, game and now characters campers your survivor for me it's lisa i mean the cherry s22 and now we don't go to models and not materials 
we go to textures instead. So left click uh, and we got outfit 06 and here are, here are all the textures we need. So like uh, one thing for overall knowledge. To basically texture uh, some parts, like basically to do a texture, we need three parts of it, like three nodes. I'm showing now. Firstly, it's a base color, which is called BC. So, oh, also like here we got the names, so we just need to find them here. So as you can see, here are clove 06, and here's the clove 06 as well, so I'm gonna take it. Like you can just put it in, in Blender like this, drag it. I'm gonna plug BC into Diffuse. We plug this into Diffuse. And as you can see, it's got color, but now it's not all, because as you can see, I will hide this a bit more. It's only a color. As you can see, if I move it, it doesn't shine. It's it, it doesn't interact with light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking about three nodes. First one is BC base color. Then it's ORM. ORM. It should usually be yellow like this, like uh, warm colors. If it's easier to remember. And you can you see even it's even there like called ORM. So you basically you do the same. Take this dot and plug it into ORM. As you can see, it actually it already got some effect, like it's shiny. Um, uh, and one thing, one more thing. It says here non-color. As you can see, it says S R S R G B. And here in the color space, we got S R G B. And for ba B C base color, we leave it like this. Okay, we don't touch it. But for ORM, we have to change it because it says non-color. So we go to color space. And we put non color. So, yeah, now it's like shiny as it's really shiny right now, yeah. Uh, so, now we're gonna correct it with the last texture, which is normal. And normal is usually uh, blue. So, yeah, we just take it. You got names here, by the way. All the names are there, so you just take with the names. Uh, and same, you just take this dot and plug it to normal. As you can see, it looks good now. We did not, it also says non color here, so we just put it non color there as well. And as you can see, it looks really good right now. That's what we wanted. Okay, so we just basically it's all we texture it like every single part of the body. Uh, it got like two clothes there as you can see, but it's just same thing. If you texture the first one, it's gonna already texture the second one. Okay, so we can basically move to another material, which is legs there. So we're gonna texture legs now. I'm gonna scroll there. And now again, we press use nose because there's nothing now. We press just use nose. We delete the principles. <coughs> we press shift A, search, and we search for the uh, lazy, you just type lazy and it's already here. So we basically plug this, I like to expand it. Oh, uh, one more thing I wanted to show you, I, I was saying this. Let's go back to the cloth. About this transparency, look what will happen if I decrease it to zero. Yeah, exactly, we see no material. And this is like as a base. So you always have to put it on one by yourself. So what we got in head, uh, head is same, head is same, okay. So we just do the same thing once again. Lazy there, expand it. For, I mean, I like to expand it. You don't need to. Head BC. I'll move it a little bit. ORM and normal. Plug it to diffuse. ORM, ORM, and normal is normal, non-color and non-color. And lashes, uh, I'll do it at the end, okay? Okay, now it's time for her, so what do we do? We go to this material, you press use notes, I already, already pressed it, so you can't see it on my screen, but you just press it. The principle with material output should pop out, so we just select principle, delete it, and now what we do is Shift A, 
search and we uh, type Baba. It's already there. We plug it in. I like to expand it. And now uh, we have to find the texture for her basically. So if we go to this uh, outfit, to this folder, as you can see, there is no such a material for her because we have we got something like S22 her 006. As you can see, it's not there. And it's also same for some of other survivors. It depends on which one you imported, but I'll explain now. If you basically don't see her for her uh, texture here, it means uh, your survivor uses like base uh, material for her. That is not only used for this one exact survivors. Like also like other survivors use this this one material. So what they do is put it in one folder. So uh, let's just go back to the F model folder. I'm gonna show you how to get into this. So basically go back to outputs again, game, characters. I go to campers. And now we don't go to exact survivor. We go to common accessories instead. Common arc. And here we go to textures, top. And here we go with the hair. This is the hair for Lisa. So what do we do? We need the base color, BC. I'm gonna plug it in the diffuse map. And as you can see, nothing happens, but don't worry. It's a bit different. Like hair is different, as, as I said. So now let's Im import normal. Plug normal, normal as well. Oh, uh, also you have to put the diffuse tint mix. Oh yeah, as you can see, it's got a color now. So you just put this on one. Diffuse tint mix. Uh, diffuse tint mix. I'm so sorry. Okay, we got this, but it's not all. We also have to put um, this one. A. I I know what's like full name of it. Oh, I'm sorry. But what do we do with this? We put it uh, here in alpha. Yeah, and don't worry, it looks bad like this. But now, if I go back to layouts and I press this uh, viewport shading, it's basically gonna show us like how it's gonna look in render. As you can see, it looks pretty good, right? Yeah, it does not look like one big mesh it looks like hair okay and now it's time to lashes as i said it's gonna be on the end so i go back to the shading panel don't worry about i know it looks shitty but yeah in the render it looks beautiful okay so let's go to lashes i select head and uh, press this material use nose and there are two ways to do it. If you want to texture it, you can. But what I like to do is just fastly put it on black. And as you can see, here it looks pretty good. It doesn't really look like just a black color. But don't worry, we can, if you really want, we can uh, basically texture it. So, just delete this. Search for Baba again because the lashes are hers, of course. I expand it. And again, I have to go to this folder. As you can see, we got lashes there. And it's M, we put it, I think, here. Oh, wait, diffuse tint mix, okay. Yeah, and we basically got this. If we look, yeah, at the render, we can see our beautiful lashes. If I go to layout, for example, I will light it. It's gonna be a bit laggy, but don't worry about this. As you can see, it even looks pretty realistic, even more than game. Okay, so guys, we got two more things. The first one is the recolors. As I said, I will do it later. So uh, I got already a different model because Lisa doesn't have any recolors. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the one I I'm talking about. Is this Ace outfit? It's his torso, as you can see, and this is base color of it. 
and it got actually two recolors. So I'm just gonna show you how to get the texture because everybody can save it now by himself. Okay, so I'm gonna close this. I'm just gonna go to folders and now look. Every single uh, survivor folder should have textures uh, section like this. So what do you do? Oh, one more thing. You have to remember the torso name. This is actually 001. So you just have to remember this. Go to folders, textures. And now you basically have all the outfits there. So as I said, I'm gonna take the 001. And you have now I have to show I have to look for the torso. As you can see here is the torso 001. And recolors are just named um, like 01 and 02. As I said, it has two recolors, so let's see if it's this one. Yeah, it got like this elegant elegant switch. And the second one yellow codes so yeah so this is just very color of it you basically right click uh, save texture and you will have it in the folder with all the texture uh, with ace and after you do it you got all the history there what have you done so you can basically just left click and it's gonna show you the folder where is it so yeah now you can basically just go to blender and put it there Okay guys, if you however lost this texture, it's uh, I have to warn you, it's not in the same folder as the every single texture of the ace. I mean of your exact survivor. Recolors are put in different. It's I mean it's still in output, but now instead of the game you go to exports, that by daylight, content, characters, campers, now you choose um, your your survivor. So for me it's ace now. I go to textures, outfit 001, and it basically got this recolor I saved. So this is all if it comes to recolors. Okay guys, and the second thing, I did not mention this because Lisa ha didn't have this problem. But uh, some of models can uh, can have some messy skeletons like this, for example, is the Huntress skin. The newest one. So yeah, how to solve this? Because most of these bones don't do anything, <clears throat> like they're just, they're, just, they're just messy for us. So, uh, how to get rid of them? You basically want to pull up this a little bit more. At least I like to do it. You, you press tab to go to edit mode. It has to be ended edit mode. You have to select the skeleton and then go press tab to go to edit mode. Then here you type FX. And you basically now have to delete all of these bones. So, let's I will box select them. As you can see, some of them got selected. So, you just Press X and delete them and just do the same with everything. Okay, so I deleted all the highlighted uh, FX bones. FX, it means of course FX, so uh, they're just for some in-game FX. So, uh, as you can see, it looks a lot, lot, lot better. I can parent it now to the list. Uh, you can hide it, by the way. Just press X to go back. And as you can see, we just got our bones, our skeleton, which is working. So yeah, that would be all. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I could help.